The 119th Psalm has long been uh, one of my very, very favorite passages of Scripture. Uh, it is long, for sure, 176 verses, but they are packed with wonderful meaning. In fact, I think all but a, uh, maybe two of them, at least in the English translation, mentions the Word of God in some respect and uh, talks about, David talks about his delight and love for the Word of God. Our reading today is Psalm 119, verses 1 through 80, and Ephesians 5 and 6, which are also really, really good chapters. I want to just concentrate on one verse, Psalm 119, verse 35, and just talk about some things from that this morning. Hi, uh, Wayne Hathaway with some good seeds this morning. Uh, Psalm 119, verse 35 says, Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Uh, this is one of those... Uh, I don't remember ever reading this before, even though I've read this psalm many, many times. Uh, it, it just seemed this in this reading today jumped right off the page at me. Uh, here's a statement by the psalmist that I think is just so rich in meaning. This isn't just any old path that he's talking about here. It's the path, uh, and he delights in walking on that path. And and it also uh, it's also the path of his commandments. It's interesting. It is the path of righteousness and truth, a path of holiness to the Lord. Often the path is difficult. He says, for example, in Psalm uh, 119, verse 67, 71, and 75, that there's affliction on this path. Uh, but he also knows that the Lord has appointed the path for him. So if the Lord has ordained that there is affliction, it must be because there's a purpose in that. And the purpose is to keep us from going astray. Uh, he says that in verse 67 and then also 71, to, so that he could learn his statutes and, and then learn his judgments are right. And that he is uh, doing this in faithfulness of his own character, verse 75. Uh, later in 105, he says his word is a, a lamp to his feet and a light to his path. So what is the path? What is this path? It's a, it's a highway of holiness, he says, a path of righteousness. And uh, the usual meaning is that of direction of one's life. That's what the path is. It's the way that one is going, the direction that one is taking. And, and the desire of the psalmist here is that his path would be one of God's choosing and not of his own choosing. The path of the wicked, those who don't know the Lord, uh, it's one of destruction, one of ultimately of death and separation from God forever. But the path of the just according to Proverbs, we know chapter 4, verse 13, is a shining light that shines brighter and brighter until the perfect day. So that's the path that he's talking about. And, and boy, as I read this, there's just such hope in this thought. We don't travel this path in hopelessness or fear, but we travel this path in the hope that in the end, it is going to lead to glory. Now, that hope that we have is a sure and a steadfast hope. It's an anchor for our soul. It's not like uh, boy, I, I hope I win the lottery or I, I hope this will happen. Uh, no, this is a steadfast hope. It's grounded. It's rooted in the truth of the word of God. Uh, and so uh, we don't travel this path in hopelessness or in fear, but in hope. And at the end, this strong assurance that we are going to see the Lord. Uh, doesn't mean there won't be difficulty along the way. That's for sure. Hardship, trials. But we have the sure promise of God that he is not going to leave us or forsake us as we walk this path. And so he will give us, uh, not give us rather, more than we can endure. We have that promise from the word of God. And so the psalmist says, it's good for us to go through these things, for in them there are lessons for us to uh, learn, and, and those lessons are going to serve us as we continue to walk along that path. And um, uh, for, us, for me, today I choose to walk that path. There are temptations along the way to turn aside, look at this, look at that. Uh, but what do we choose? We choose to be with the Lord, to walk with him. And there's hope in that walk, dear friends. If it weren't for that, what's the point? But God has given us his assurance in his word, and we can trust that today. So keep on the path, keep walking, keep going, looking forward, pressing on, trusting Jesus in all that you do. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today as you walk with him along the path.